Hey guys, it's Arian here and I thought I'll do a quick video outlining my experience in Thailand having my first hair transplant. As you can see here in the front, I've had around 1,200 grafts and they've tried to fix a bit of thinning I had here, here and also lower my hairline. I'm 35 years old and uh, I really didn't want to have a super low hairline, just wanted to sort of fix it and I'll put up some before photos. Also, they've put another 2,000 odd grafts in my, uh, on top of my head, where the crown is. And I'm not sure if you can see that properly, but um, yeah, overall, uh, my experience was quite pleasant. Much less um, stressful and painful as one would anticipate. Uh, I've come to Thailand to have a holiday during the pandemic, but uh, I wasn't aware that you can't actually drink for a couple of weeks before having your hair transplant. So I found that about a week prior to having my hair transplant, when I attended my consultation with doctor and the doctor actually told me that you can't, so I stopped and that was the only negative part. But other than that, it's been a fantastic experience. I had mine done at HT Clinic in Bangkok and it cost me around uh, $4,000 uh, Australian. So quite uh, affordable. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that the work the team did there was fantastic. Now I have a lot of tattoos on my body and when you Google what the pain is compared to tattoos, you often see that they say this is more painful or it's equal. Let me tell you, that's not true. This is much less painful. Matter of fact, when they first inject you and numb your body, uh, numb your head, sorry, uh, after that you really don't feel it. And you might feel a pinch here and there, but if somebody's telling you that the pain is equal to having tattoos, they're telling you stories. Um, overall, I'm quite happy with the whole process. It took about eight hours. I went this morning at about 6 um, a.m. and the team there, there was about uh, eight Thai uh, ladies there who uh, had the head surgeon as the lead and there was a technician. There was a team doing the shaving in the head, taking photos. Um, very professional, very clean, and I can't believe it actually um, how pleasant the whole experience was and I highly recommend you if you do live in Australia or if you, anywhere actually um, to consider coming to Thailand as opposed to going to Turkey now a lot of YouTube videos that I watched usually have like a doctor a technician and a nurse um, and you see people going to Turkey they sort of fly in fly out and it just seems a little bit uh, I guess low class to me and it doesn't seem like it's a professional job here at the HD clinic and I'm not getting paid to say this it's a full different story I highly recommend you to google them I'll put the link in the description below and you're welcome to reach out to me if you have any questions about the whole experience one thing I can tell you that you will want to let them know that to shave your head uh, if you don't shave your head and try to keep some of your hair it can be quite hard especially in the hot weather here. So what I'm going to do is leave Bangkok and go to Chiang Mai, which is in north of Thailand. It's a much more pleasant weather. And uh, I'll be able to stay there for a while while I heal before I return back home. Now I'll show you again, just the hairline here and the crown. They actually give you a breakdown and I wasn't aware that when they say we're going to put say 3,400 grafts, which was the case for me, um, that actually a lot of those consist of triple and double uh, hair grafts. So it's not that you sit there and they put 3,000 <laughs> holes in your head and then transfer 3,000 grafts. It's actually different. So I'll post a photo of my own personal information or black out some of my private information. but the breakdowns and also the medicine that I was given. So I was given Valium in the morning and I was given some, uh, you know, anesthetic uh, injections and also um, throughout the day, I've got, I've got, I lost count of how many times they injected uh, into my head to feel numb. And uh, really, like once again, I tell you, don't stress, other than just being a long process, um, you probably won't feel pain what I did is I was listening to Joe Rogan's podcast. Uh, I, had, I listened to two episodes back to back uh, while they did my hair and uh, it was quite easy to uh, go through that experience without having to just sit there listening to the sound of the machine go into your head 
and take out the air uh, fossils. But I, I think, uh, you know, it's not bad. It's not, like really, I didn't sleep last night, all night, and uh, I consider myself as not a wimp. But at the same time, being here alone in Thailand and having to go through this experience, I wasn't quite sure what I was in for. I mean, the doctor did a fantastic job explaining it, but everybody has sort of their own approach. And for me, I'd rather uh, have that experience first and then talk to it. And my experience was that if I have to do another one, I probably will. And I won't think about it twice with the same uh, point of view that I thought about the first one. If you have any questions at all, please uh, let me know, reach out. I want to leave a review for the clinic because of just how impressive the whole approach was and the head plastic surgeon there. Uh, she was amazing. I mean, for a team that it was all ladies, there was no man there. It was a team of women and uh, doing this transplant. Um, they were very careful, very, very professional, very gentle, at the same time, very caring towards the patient and spoke well English. Actually, they spoke Chinese, English. Uh, they had multiple people there. They had a girl working there, their sales girl, and their head manager, um, uh, Kivani. Uh, so I'm sorry I mispronounced her name. Uh, she actually speaks with a full New Zealand um, accent as well. She's uh, grown up there and she, she sort of uh, was my main point of contact and probably your main point of contact too. Uh, when you reach out to them via WhatsApp, um, but I highly recommend you give them a go. If you have any questions, reach out to them or any other clinic that you see fit. Uh, I had quotes from other clinics as well, and they were trying to charge me an arm and a leg. If I show you my before photos, you might wonder why did I get a hair transplant? Because a lot of people say you don't look that bad, especially when I let my hair grow. But reaching 35 and just seeing the hairline go back and back and having some of my friends make jokes about uh, when I spike up my hair about what happened to your hair it really pissed me off and you know I just decided to get it done um, and if you're feeling the same have it done it's not that bad they put a bandage on you like this for the first um, night and when you go they'll take it off they actually got me a really nice hotel which I can show you just a bit excuse the mess and it cost me 800 baht less than 40 dollars and it's a deal they have it's a four minute walk from here to the uh, clinic and the hotel here is my bedroom. It's got a um, decent bathroom. Lights just turned on automatically. And also, you have your own living room. Because be prepared to stay here for a couple of days. You can go out and buy some food, but you, you would probably want to stay indoors for the first couple of days at least. And it's not bad. You got a couch, you have a TV. Um, it's like an apartment, so you've got fridge, microwave, a washing machine, sink. If you were to book this hotel yourself, you probably pay double, but due to the deal they have, it only cost me 800 baht per night. And yeah, once again, I highly recommend you reach out to HD Clinic or any other clinic that it's in Bangkok have a few options open to you. They'll provide a few quotes. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer from my experience. And that's the... Now, I apologize if you can't see this properly, but it's pretty much the best I can do is just my phone. Okay, thank you. Bye, YouTube. Uh, please like and subscribe. I might start a proper channel, um, but first see how it goes. Thank you.